In this video, I want to spend a few minutes talking about what you need to know about recording in rapid mode before you come to the workshop. Now, I have made a lot of videos that are available on the, on the rapid mode uh, page about how to use uh, rapid mode, how to use the, the, the unit itself, how to prepare the videos, uh, how, what are the different styles of videos you can make. So you can go watch those, but here I just want to give you a quick overview uh, before joining the workshop. So first, how does rapid mode work? Well, rapid mode is an all-in-one unit that requires is just this one unit as you can see here and then a green screen behind me and then lights and that's all it is uh, and then what you have here is that you replace what the green screen gets replaced uh, in the video you uh, with me and my powerpoint in the background as you can see uh, initially i just saw the green screen in the video but actually as i'm recording uh, once i start recording i can see myself and i get a feedback of what is actually going on in the video now, uh, the, uh, the process of recording is very simple. It's simply you bring uh, a laptop with a presentation, you connect it to Rapid Move, then you press a start button, you start recording, start speaking, and uh, then at the end, you copy the finished recording to a USB key and walk away with that, and there's your, uh, and then uh, that's all you need. And then you just upload that into YouTube or somewhere else where you want to share videos. You also need some other things. There's some accessories that you need to know about. There's microphones. Uh, there's some remotes that you can use as a keyboard to control the unit and so on and so forth. But all those things are very easy to use and, and I can explain that to you in a, in a few minutes. And there are other videos and there's an instructional manual that you can look at to get all that information. Now perhaps one thing that you should be aware of is that how does the green screen uh, work? And uh, this is, uh, the two important thing is, is that why is it a green screen and then what is the importance of lights because a lot of people may not realize that so green screen works like works on some on a principle called chroma key and it basically just means uh, um, when people talk about that it means that they key out uh, they take the uh, key value of the color and then they remove it from the video replace it with something else and the reason uh, green is used because green is not part of uh, natural complexion so if you want to have people then green is uh, not in, in their face so that there's no contrast there People sometimes also in the past used uh, blue screen and so on. Now, you also need lights, and that's important when you use green screen. And you need to have separ separate lights on the subject, so you can see there's lights lighting me, and then there's also lights that are lighting the green screen. They need to be separate, so you need to stand uh, between those two lights, so be quite well lit, um, um, and, uh, and then have, um, so there's a lot of lighting involved. So you have to be prepared for that. Now, uh, uh, the in, there's some consequences of using this and that you have to sort of be a bit careful about what you wear uh, and so so wearing something like pale blue or white or something like that that's all fine uh, but uh, do not wear anything green but also something very black or, or dark blue as you can see for example here it starts giving uh, little halos and things like that very fine stripes and checks are also not that great because there's a bit of reflection uh, now the other thing to remember when you're uh, when choosing what to wear it's important to wear something a color or a po pocket uh, that you can pin your microphone to on, on a shirt so that's quite important or maybe some pendant or something uh, so so when you're when you think about what to wear those are the things to take into consideration now what kinds of videos can you make uh, with rapid mode well so here's uh, basically the basic style of video uh, is simply a presentation with a PowerPoint in the background. So you can see this is the video uh, that uh, I'm making right now. But you can also uh, connect not just a laptop, you can connect an iPad. So you can see here is, is me recording a video about uh, using an iPad, and I'm using the iPad at, at the same time, and I'm going to show you how to do that. You can watch, go watch that video. Now, I have some other options. I don't even have to have a presentation. I can simply connect a computer uh, and show what's on the screen, and that can be my background. So this is me explaining how to use a PowerPoint. And finally, if I connect uh, a computer uh, that has a touch and, and a pen, then I can start writing here uh, with a pen. So as you can see, I am uh, here, have my touch screen, and I start writing down, and then I'm basically recording what's on a whiteboard on the video. So that's also uh, an option of a type of video that I can make with rapid mode. Now, uh, what do you need to uh, learn to do when you want to start using rapid mode? And that's what will you learn in the workshop. So, uh, well, you learn how to set up the recording, how to set up the right zoom level, the angle of the camera, 
that's very easy to do, how to set up your countdown for recording, how to choose the right background, and so on. Uh, you also learn about recording modes, the, the different combinations of background and foreground, what are the different things that can be uh, on, um, on the background, what are the, um, how you can use sort of over the air versus using, connecting a cable and things like that. Now, uh, during the workshop, hopefully, you also have a chance to practice uh, a few of these things. So you'll, you'll get a chance to practice things like um, uh, how to start and end, uh, how to use the remote controls, how to position the microphone, how to interact with the screen point and things and things like that. And also, basically, have a chance to try some of the speaking tips uh, on as you're creating the videos live. So at the end of it, you have more confidence. All these things are very easy to do. and. Uh, um, Everybody that I've worked with has been able to very easily take to this and record a video without much effort. But I find it, it's more important, it's very important to give it a go first and see how easy it is and become comfortable. So that's uh, the end of these little pre-workshop videos. And thank you very much for watching and uh, see you at the workshop.